absolutely absurd, and I've thought this for for a number of years. Uh, you know, once especially once I like learned more about uh, the uh, good, you know, the the positive aspects of uh, of cannabis itself. Uh, there's an ambulance going there, but. Uh, you know, I, ironically, especially the medical uses of cannabis, like there is, there is a, a extreme amount of positive use from cannabis, uh, and I've said this in my stand-up act is I've never heard of any sort of like negative stories come out of it. I've never heard like the closest, like even the stories I'm about to tell you have some, you know, it, but that's mostly because I, I I overdid it. These are stories of me personally. Um, making a choice to overdo it um, and, and kind of learning my limits beyond that. But, you know, that's sort of part of it. But I've never had an experience on cannabis that has been like, holy shit, my life is ruined. Um, I've heard stories like that with, uh, with cigarettes, with alcohol, with various other drugs. Um, so what's my perspective on it is uh, legalize it, legalize it. Why are we not? Do, do, like, dude, fucking Denver... Colorado made a billion dollars in revenue that that uh, you know they were like helping schools and shit and then there was a bunch of conservative uh, you know religious people that came out and were like oh this is drug money this is it's a plant it would be like if fucking broccoli made a billion dollars and then like you know small business broccoli farmers were like hey we're gonna give some of this revenue to help fucking schools and help like state infrastructure and like communities that need it. Would you deny it if like broccoli did that well? Because I can guarantee you that cannabis is a much more popular brand than broccoli. I'm not I'm not a broccoli hater or anything, but I'm just I'm, let's be real. If it came down to uh, eating a brownie with some cannabis in it, or eating a brownie with some broccoli in it. What are you going to choose? I know what I'm going to choose. You know? So, it's ridiculous that it's uh, it, it, it's it's illegal, in my opinion. Never heard anybody get racist with uh, with cannabis, and if you have, you're smoking oregano. You gotta you gotta get to a different dealer. <laughs> you gotta you gotta talk to uh, you know. That Dr. Dealer, what are you getting? Might be getting some patchouli. No, shit's aggravating. We tried to smoke patchouli. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is a side note um, in terms of uh, in terms of experimenting. I did this sober when I was uh, 13 years old. Somebody paid me $20 to snort uh, instant coffee. And I also don't recommend doing that. I was a bit of a whore when I was 13. Uh, Because I didn't have money and I needed it to purchase action figures and toys and comic books and things of that nature. (laughs) So somebody was like, here's 20 bucks, snort this thing. I'd be like, all right. Uh, I also ate weird shit. Um, Ketchup and orange juice, did that once. Don't do it. It's not great. And uh, definitely not worth the five dollars I got for that. That one actually, if somebody gave me twenty dollars to do that, that that's a val- that's a good value for that. But total sidebar. But when I'm whenever I've been high, I've never wanted to uh, to do any of that. I've never I've never wanted to. <laughs> the notion of it being a gateway drug is such a bullshit notion. It's such a bullshit notion. I've never, I've, it's, it's been a gateway to snacks, but it's always been a gateway to responsible snacking too. It's always been a gateway to being like, you know, I think pop tarts with Nutella in the middle of both the pop tarts smashed together. That seems like a good idea. It's never been, (laughs) I've never been high to be like, what I need to do is mix some fucking ketchup and orange juice together. That's never been something that I've wanted to do, you know? It's been responsible snacking. It's taught you how to snack uh, in more creative and uh, pleasurable ways, uh, nothing too over the top and ridiculous, which I think uh, 
you know, th- that's that's more of a teenager's brain. It's, that's uh, it's more of uh, uh, unregulated hormones kind of a situation, you know. Unregulated hormones and and poverty uh, create <laughs> such bad situations. Um, so I don't know why, uh, you know, uh, the the stigmas and stereotypes that come along with um, with cannabis, I think, are uh, foolish. To be blunt about it, I think they're foolish. Uh, I think there there should be a nationwide federal uh, legalization of the damn plant. You know, uh, we also use it to. Really, it would also uh, incredibly transform the um, prison industrial complex, the criminal justice system, because that's used as a way to um, marginalize communities of color. Uh, You know, there are uh, more black people that are put into prison for uh, nonviolent drug offenses than there are white people, despite the fact that white people and black people smoke weed at the same amounts. you know why? Because uh, uh, cannabis is about equality. Cannabis is like, I don't care who wants to see the world in a more beautiful perspective. Everybody should see it. There's no racism involved in it. There's no inequality. There's no fucking uh, discrimination. That is a plant that wants everybody to be high. <laughs> and that's it. The other thing is hemp. Um, hemp is, uh, is I mean, th- this should be completely legal. It would completely transform, like, uh, food, clothing. Uh, it's just various different points of infrastructure. It's a very versatile plant. It's a very strong plant. Um, you know, so, like, us not fucking utilizing hemp in, in, a, in a positive manner, I think, is just, again... To put it bluntly, foolish. <laughs> We're being foolish uh, with this thing. So, uh, you know, that's where I come from. I do think that we should also legalize all of the drugs. We should legalize 100% of them, but that's not where it stops. You can't just legalize it and go, well, American freedoms, that'll probably fix everything. It won't. American freedoms, uh, if, you, if you give a bunch of primates unlimited freedom without the guidance of the education system, uh, we're going to do dumb things because we're primates. We're just going to try to put our dick in things. That's, you know, we think with our animal brain first. We think with the amygdala first. We don't think with the the rest of the emotional spectrum first. We haven't been trained or conditioned to do that, uh, which cannabis will probably help us uh, do that a lot more. It will help us think uh, out of the framework of uh, base animal instincts such as fear, aggression, uh, pleasure. That's all part of the amygdala there. It will widen the array of the emotional spectrum. Uh, But I do. I do think that we should legalize all drugs, but we should educate people on what these drugs will do. We should educate people on, on what these drugs are capable of. And, uh, 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 you know, with that said... Uh, we should have uh, places where if you would like to go try these drugs, you can go try these drugs under the care and supervision of a, uh, of a trained medical professional that knows how to handle these drugs, that knows what the right amount is, that knows how to administer these drugs in, the, in a safe manner. That way you, 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 you get rid of uh, illegal drug trafficking, narco trafficking, all of that stuff. Everything is safe. Everything is um, you know, kept in a in an environment where where you can enjoy yourself, these drugs become uh, a way that we can even even use, utilize it for mental health purposes. And and if it's not utilized for mental health purposes, you can utilize it for uh, fun recreational purposes, for self exploration. Um, completely transform the way society is uh, 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 looked at. That's a way we could do it. But that's not, you know. It's not the way we look at drugs now.
we look at drugs as something illegal and scary and all that sort of stuff. But if you know how to, if you know how to use your drugs, if you know what they do to your body, how much to take to ensure that you're having uh, a good time, to ensure that you're not endangering your health uh, or the health of others. Yeah, it's going to make for a better society. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to this channel, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notifications when uh, I put up new videos. I'm going to be putting up videos every single day, so there's going to be a ton of content coming out on this channel. Uh, there's going to be storytelling, uh, commentary about the media, uh, historical commentary, philosophical commentary, all surrounding uh, stand-up comedy. If you, if you like comedic commentary about these topics, then this is the channel for you. Uh, and if you uh, come to the channel often and you haven't subscribed, what, what, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Get, get, get subscribed to this. Come, come hang out with us. <laughs> But uh, for more information about me, you can go to my website, uh, ramanoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Uh, while you're there, you can check out all of my past stand-up comedy albums, which if you snag them from Bandcamp, are available as Pay What You Want, which means that they're uh, available for free. Uh, you can check out past videos. You can check out past podcasts. And uh, you can donate if you have the ability to make a one-time donation or become a sustaining member. You can donate directly on my website and become a sustaining member directly on my website. And Or you can see how, you know, the various different ways that you can make a donation. And you can also find out about live stand-up comedy events. Well, live-ish stand-up comedy events. I'm going to be doing uh, a test show on Zoom. Uh, tickets are available for that right now. They are free, and there's only 10 spots available. This is going to be a test show to find out, you know, what format's going to work, if there are technical difficulties that I need to figure out, and then figuring out uh, what consistent day to try to do um, these Zoom shows. I'll probably do a couple of them uh, while we are uh, currently in the quarantine situation. So, that is available. Uh, the tickets for that are available right now. There's only 10 spots available. Uh, so make sure that you grab them um, before they're all gone. And then once we decide the date for the first official live-ish stand-up <laughs> comedy Zoom show, the virtual stand-up comedy show, uh, there will be um, about 15 tickets available for the first one. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there and we'll see, see what happens from there. Uh, so grab those tickets and come hang out with us uh, on the Zoom. Uh, like I said, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you hit that like. Make sure that you share this out. Get the word out about these videos. And uh, and you can go to my website to find out more stuff. Uh, Till the next video. Take it easy.